Hey you guys, welcome back to another edition of WS2 Cat. I'm your host, Amit. In today's episode, we're going to have some more of the Road to Glory gameplay, and we are going to have, obviously, the Team ID results. Um, as you can see, I did get Rob Van Dam. Uh, when I recorded this, I was still on that roof, man, just grind my way up. I get most of RVD done before I went to sleep, and then finish him off this morning. I did manage to get two poles as well last night. I did get The Miz as my first one. And then Danny Birch as my second. Obviously, as from yesterday's video, they get uh, the Mick Foley Pro from Puzzlers. Uh, we did manage to win both TBGs as well, which is obviously great. Uh, I got Roy Rumble. Ooh, that's a good point, actually. Who did I get? I just clicked on the plus for the credits. Because I'm a noob. Good filters. And now I got Lana uh, Behemoth, which may be an F2F. If I'm not mistaken, I can't remember quick. Ah, Alistair Black and I got the Royal Rumble 21 uh, Charlotte Flair card. Which I know Black's a pro. Obviously, the Charlotte card ain't. I'm not sure if that Jimmy Uso is a pro either, to be honest. Which I'll, I'll top that and I'll then obviously pros up off camera to save up a lot of time. But obviously, as you know. I am on a heroic upgrade and so pad decides to want to be slow there we go. So yeah, I'll obviously get to where I am at currently on RTG in a short while. But before we do, game two is complete. I am in the King of the Ring rest main 37 one as well. And I am currently where it loads up. That is, I wigged in. Start singing while we wait then. Pause it until it loads. Mimo is deciding to be a pain. There we go. It's all loaded up now and currently 2 0 up, which obviously that means two more wins. And then the W is mine, and it's another WrestleMania 37 card in my collection. So far this week, I have had some great, great luck with WrestleMania 37 here already. It was obviously Pro Yoshirai, Pro Kyle Riley, Pro McFoley. Potentially now a King Ring W already. So, yeah, we did manage to get the uh, rest of me with seven kind of regularly, which is obviously, as you know, a pro for me. And we did manage to get the Royal Rumble 21 Adam Cole, which is an F1. So, if we go to team shards, obviously, as well, now we can pull uh, pick doublers, type matches, etc. off any uh, board. So, if you're doing TBG bouts, playing wild, playing PvP, playing money in the bank, whatever you're doing, or if you even just buying. Picks from the super coins for two charges, or obviously to uh, get the uh, dust, you can now uh, get picked up a dozen titles off the board. We do have Malcolm 36 shards, shout out to him. Got Vodka with 28, BLD boys with 20, D Brown DC with 19. Didn't mean to put that. We've got Jambana with 18, Harley with 13, Savanko with 12, Pod with 10, Josh with 9, Dave with 9. Kilmus Killer 9, Michael T89 7, I got 6, got W Addict like 3, Heal Ranger, Joey and Matt with 2, and Zim with 1. But uh, I know a lot of us obviously were more focused on RTG, which obviously uh, with, with Battle Dad obviously focused on something else. Obviously, if you, uh, pick up a stack, obviously, sometimes I wasn't focused on something else, sometimes someone else does. But obviously, that's perks of being in a team you help each other out you pick up the slack for each other and when it decides to load up RTG we will get into an RTG bout but for now it's doing the same again Mimo, as Vince McMahon would say you're fired there we go and it's back up again as you can see I am currently 100 of 155 on the biomechanical small draw I do want to try and get him done and the swarm Whoever the swamp card is, and Behemoth with the AJ Slides, which I'm glad to finally get. I actually have the opportunity to get the AJ Slides card because obviously it's the one with him like that, or however however he does it. Because obviously he did have that WrestleMania, 30, I believe it was, no, not 34. What event what might have even been? I'm not sure what tier it was, but he had an event card where obviously he had it like that. I know he had a base, uh, his first ever event card. In the first ever WrestleMania tier, no, it was in the season two WrestleMania tier. He had one like that, obviously. Didn't, uh, I think that was a PCC, he didn't get our one. I think it was another event card. It was, yeah, it must have been, must have been one of the WrestleMania tiers. 
or I don't know. Because WrestleMania 34, obviously, he, had, he did have an event card then, but it wasn't that because I got that event card. Cause I only know it after, obviously, because it was my first ever uh, uh, half rower card. So, yeah, as I said, I am hoping, I think I'm off top again, I am hoping to get um, the Biomechanical, the Swarm, and the Behemoth for AJ done by the time I go to sleep. And then hopefully maybe even more, sort of, or at least a fair bit of the Royal Rumble 21 card. So then I have tomorrow to finish off the Royal Rumble 21 card and the rest meaning 36 Rob Rude. And then Thursday end to, uh, to chisel out and get the heroic upgrade. Obviously it's luck lucky and people who like me are going for the half row. Uh, can't speak but through my words. The people like me who are going for the heroic upgrade so late into the event. Obviously we're the type of people who are lucky that it's uh, Giants Unleashed for the Pro and obviously not like War Games or whatnot. So if right after this I believe it's War Games and then Ring Dom and then Clash or it's Clash then War Games and Ring Dom which obviously that's not going to be fun a Clash of Champions and Ring Dom and obviously an RTG in the same month not Ring Dom sorry Clash War Games and RTG not Ring Dom if you like Ring Dom that's easy same as GU um, probably will pay Clash, me or me, however, depending on obviously who the card is. But I am going to try and get a tidyish rank. Obviously, I want to try and keep my cards as balanced as possible. That's why, if you know this, my Eo Shirai, I max her out of only leveled up a little bit just so she beats my LMS Asuka. Uh, just so, obviously, but especially when LMS comes around. Obviously then my females will be a little bit more balanced to make life a little bit easier for me. So probably do the same as well with um, obviously the rest of me for its seven male pros. Let's level them up around my round number 21 pros so then again keep some balanced. So RVD will probably say at level C for a while to be honest with you. But, uh, actually I might level them up around the Sun Hose of Austin and Damien Priest cards because obviously those are my best two cards. I've got Obviously, um, Kyle O'Reilly and McFoley Pro Ready. Obviously, I'll have uh, RVD Pro. So, th that'll be three pros. Five. You need eight, if I'm correct. Yeah, eight. So, for them three, those two, if I used to get. I should, uh, I should definitely have enough uh, to have a balance deck by the time my LMS uh, comes round, if it even comes round. I am hoping, and obviously it's looking like I am going to get uh, that King Ring victory, so I am hoping I'll get a decent reward, or if not, uh, maybe one of the, I suppose the Valentine cards, the Spring cards, because obviously they're now pullable off the board, and from any other type of packs, like TPG tickets, PvP packs, Superstore packs, etc. Which obviously it is great when they do stuff like that. Um, I'm not having no luck as well on the exclusive draft board. Uh, I think I've got I'm down to the last seven cards, I believe. I had all Royal Rumble playing ones and Behemoths, no WrestleMania's, although my last one wasn't too bad. It was the Royal Rumble 21 and Alexa Bliss, obviously the base one. So obviously she doesn't have no other Royal Rumble 21 cards, because I don't think she does. Um, so obviously if it being a female I will take that because obviously I'll probably, I'll probably get it as a pro in the future and hopefully by the time I do get it, it does benefit my deck obviously it's a pain in the back so when you want to card pro but you don't get it until it don't benefit the deck that is the biggest pain when it comes to this game so yeah, uh, we play this last RTG vote and then that will be a fix video support already past the 9 minute mark just got my drink Um, tag team power. Obviously, the only annoying thing with Geo is obviously when you have cards like train up, you obviously can't put them in your giant leash deck because it's based off obviously your best cards, same as obviously LMS. Um, which obviously is a pain because obviously you've got to go for the whole, whole event without training the cards up. And obviously, you have to wait then for either the next event or. Obviously, the team events stuck with that. Obviously, the next team event is a team RTG, so be able to level up. Everyone be able to level up the pro RVDs a lot, lot easier.
is yeah, better obviously great. Yeah, I remember uh, remember a amount of times in the past it's been like uh, RTG or RD for the pro of a card and then the next <laughs> team event's been team RD and then it's been like LMS or something and so you don't end up pro on your card for like two week uh nearly two weeks. Which has been a pain in the past but obviously nowadays a lot of people do use obviously the Royal Rumble technique where you put the cards you need to get games done in into your Royal Rumble uh, yeah, into your Royal Rumble decks. And then obviously fill the rest up with obviously now it's Beast and it's a Beast. Yeah, I think it's Beast and Neon cards. No Gothic uh, Neon cards. Beast those Beast Monster Titan. Uh, with a uh, with a scratch you could get off the board last uh, year, last year, last season. So yeah, obviously the games can be really easy for me at the moment until I get onto probably the Behemoth Royal Rumble 21. Obviously, as you've seen in yesterday's video, I was able to uh, clutch a plus ten on um, our truth. I was actually able to clutch a few tens, believe it or not, on. RVD himself, which helped uh, massive, massively to get him done as quick as possible. But yeah, I think I got onto him about 12 ish, and then it was like 20 points off him by the time I went to sleep. So then I just done, I think I done one plus, I think I actually managed to do two plus tens to be honest with you. And then obviously easy plus tens at the start of the heroic side. So I am hoping to obviously get the heroic upgrade because obviously it would be a great way to start off the new tier obviously with the heroic upgrade and we've been making it basically a week long event because of the net network issues which to be fair to them they didn't have to uh, extend it that long so only a few hours obviously yeah there was problems on the Friday as well which put it into maintenance but I still don't reckon they obviously I'm not complaining that they uh, extended it by three days but they didn't have to extend it for three days they could have just extended it for the amount of hours obviously that the game was down for but obviously the annoying thing was obviously pvp wasn't extended so why it was down obviously people's uh, pvp points uh, time on the pvp carried on so that's gonna be it for today guys please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe down below for more and as always hit the not notification bell to get notified on new content and don't forget to take it easy and peace